great freaking book. Definitely got much, much more happier after reading this book. The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama and Howard C. Cutler. Great freaking book. Let's go for my rating. Hmm. Based on the previous books I've rated, 8.6 out of 10. Great freaking book. Things I've learned from it. I've been practicing a lot of compassion. And that's one thing he learns. Also the changing of perspective. For example, right now I'm exhausted. I woke up at 5 a.m. I filmed a bunch of YouTube videos and I was like, huh, should I go ahead and film another YouTube video, do a book review just because I got everything set up? I didn't want to, but I'm pushing myself to do this right now because this is sort of me exercising, mm. me stressing my muscles, me feeling exhausted and mentally tired. That means I'm at my limit. And by doing this, I'm pushing that limit so that I'm growing. That is a perspective that I learned from the book rather than seeing this as a chore, seeing this as I'm tired. Like I should then shift how I view things through perspective. Next is he really is optimistic saying, saying things like everyone is kind. Everyone has like some kindness in them. Not everyone's evil. And if someone is evil, it's because of the upbringing. It's not their fault. And it sort of makes sense. Like if you grew up in Hitler's <clears throat> shoes, you most likely will turn out like Hitler because he probably went through a lot of different situations and hardship to get him wide in that certain way. And it's impossible to say that, hey, if you're in that situation, you would not have gotten wired that way. That's another thing that I learned that's really important. And the next thing I learned is how the Dalai Lama, even though he's so well versed when it comes to the mind, the brain, meditation, he's still willing to listen to people. Like the author Howard would sometimes question him or argue with him. And rather than getting angry or trying to argue back, the Dalai Lama would literally pause for a second, listen and say, huh, you might have a point, which is really, really humbling and egoless, which is amazing from someone like him. Also, he's not afraid to say, I don't know. That's another cool thing that I learned from him. And the last cool thing that I learned just from reading and then sort of getting a taste of his mind is he appreciates the small things in life. He appreciates the beautiful winds, the, you know, right now I'm seeing a bunch of clouds. It's not too blue sky, it's, it's cloudy, but it's a beautiful, nice gray. I love how the trees are swaying side to side. I see some sunlight seeping through the clouds and he does that quite often. He would walk by and just look and pick up a flower and just appreciate it. He appreciates life and that's sort of why I was able to sort of absorb reading from this book and that's sort of why I rate it so high at 8.6 out of 10. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this book review. That is the book review for the Dalai Lama, Art of Happiness, 8.6 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Before we end the video, the sponsor of this video is studying.com. They're giving away $1,000 worth of courses or consulting courses with me. If you want to go ahead and qualify, all to do is drop a comment below because we'll be picking the best comment every single video. So the winning comment for this video is here. If you guys want to qualify, all to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. On that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.